setting up the Wi-Fi on a Durrani Touch intercom. Um, first thing you just need to make sure is you have the latest firmware, which does have the help icon on the home screen. If yours doesn't have this help icon, you will need to do an upgrade on your monitor. Uh, you can view how to do this on our website at durrani.com.au under the technical support page. Uh, but to set up the Wi-Fi, what we need to do is just go into the settings. And from here, we'll see wireless is on the left-hand side. So selecting wireless. It's going to ask for a password. So the Wi-Fi password is 3061 3061. So 3061 3061 and then just hitting OK when we're finished down the bottom. What we need to do is just turn the Wi-Fi switch on up the top. So just selecting the Wi-Fi switch and just having a read through the terms and conditions. And once you're happy to accept those, just hitting accept down the bottom right hand corner. So the switch is now on. So now we just need to connect to your local network. So to do that, just selecting WLAN settings here. That there will search for all the available Wi-Fi networks in the area and yours should pop up on the screen. So once we've found your Wi-Fi name, just need to select it. And then just doing the password for it. Oops. The password. So this is your Wi-Fi password for your local network. So once you've done that, hitting OK down the bottom and just making sure Auto Connect is ticked here on the screen. Once that's done, just need to hit Connect. This will just take a second or we'll run through down the bottom here when it's connecting to your local network. So once the connection is complete, you'll see that the Wi-Fi symbol is next to your Wi-Fi name and that's now complete. So now we can go into the SIP config, which is just here on the screen. And just quickly double check a few settings. So we need to make sure your username starts with OEOO. If it doesn't, if it says anything like test ID or um, along those lines, what we need to do is hit use default. So that will connect to our server and download the correct information for your screen to connect onto your mobile phone. So just making sure that your username starts with OEOO. It doesn't matter the rest of the digits, but OE00. And the domain name, we need to just double check as well. So it needs to be vdpconnect.com, column 5068. So if that's all there, that's registered and ready to go. So we just need to scan this onto your mobile phone now using the QR code here, just on the left-hand side of the screen. And just another setting we need to just make sure it is diverting to your phone is to set the call scene. So if we select call scene from the home screen of your intercom, you'll get the list here. So normal use is effectively just a normal intercom where the door station will call the monitors in your house only. Uh, do not disturb for eight hours, turns it off for eight hours, which means it will not call. Dis not, um, no disturb always, turns the intercom off. Divert call if no answer, if you choose that option. Um, it'll try and call uh, your monitor first for 20 seconds. If there's no answer, then it will call your mobile. Um, or divert call always is the last option there. If we select divert call always, it'll call your mobile phone and your internal screens at the same time. Um, this is generally the preferred option uh, for most installations, so we, we recommend that you have it on divert call always. So once that's been set, we've set the call scene, we've made sure we've got a tick in the server icon, and we are connected to our Wi-Fi. So that they will now be diverting to your mobile phone. So once the monitor has been set up, we just need to download the VDP Connect app off uh, Google Play or the App Store. So we're just looking for VDP Connect. And once it's been downloaded, we can just open that up up there. It's gonna ask for certain permissions. Just make sure you're hitting um, allow or okay for all of these just so the app works correctly. So once that's done, you'll be presented with the configuration account page. So all we need to do there is scan the QR code that's on the monitor. So we can do that just by hitting the blue scan button on the main screen there. So once that's done, we'll get the QR scanner on the screen. So we can take that over to the monitor. So from the home screen, um, from that Wi-Fi setting, you'll be able to get the QR code, but also from the home screen, you'll see the server icon and the Wi-Fi symbols down the bottom of your screen there as well. So if we hit the server icon, that there will bring up our SIP 
config page where we have the QR code which we can just scan. So once that's done, uh, we'll just make sure we're allowing access. We are now connected to the server and we can access our door station. So just by clicking onto the home icon here, we'll be able to load up the door station. And then we'll get the image coming straight up on the screen. So from here, we can hit the PTT, which will open up the, the audio communication. Um, so pushing that there will allow you to operate it like a push to talk uh, feature so be able to hear yourself at the door station. We have the speaker button on the home screen there as well. So if you can turn it on or off, you can talk to it as a, like a normal phone um, up to your ear or have it coming through the speaker. Your unlock buttons if they're applicable to your uh, setup there as well. And the hang up in the middle. So just one other important feature to have a look at, whether or not you want the phone to send you a push notification or call your phone. So we can just go up to the menu up the top left hand corner, onto settings. And from here we can just choose our call settings. So here we have the option for enable call kit. So if we turn that on, the, the intercom will call your phone like a normal phone call. So it'll come up on the screen, um, it'll ring your phone like a normal, uh, a normal incoming call and you just slide to answer. You, you don't get the early media, you don't get to see who's at the front door with this option, um, but it does ring so it makes it a bit more noticeable when the call comes through. Uh, turning that off and having accept early media on, the setup here will send you a push notification through to your phone um, and you'll be able to see who's at the front door before you answer it. It'll send you a, a, the early media. So you can choose to answer or decline that call there. Um, but again, it doesn't ring like a normal phone call. So you can just have a play and see which one suits you best just by toggling the enable call kit on or off there. So that's effectively the setup.